Hello RG First, this is Manong Guard and I'm here in my studio for the unboxing of Kill Team Arena. I got my copy from Neutral Grounds a couple of weeks back, haven't found time to really open it up. I've taken off the shrimp wrap. Now, let's take a look at the components inside. Three weeks later. So as we open up the box, you'll see that it comes with two sprues of terrain. Comes with some pipes, some drums, crates as well, and then a total of 10 doors, I think. Yes, 10 doors. Each of these sprues are identical to each other. Mainly because Kill Team Arena is about creating a, an identical side of the board for each of the players, as you can see in the uh, missions that come with it. Right? So that is a, a fair experience. It's more for a tournament type of experience. No asymmetrical components in terms of the terrain, in terms of the board. But it does still require uh, two asymmetrical, most of the time, armies. It comes with a couple of decks of cards as well. This one is for command point use. And these are yeah, objectives. So these are randomly generated objectives for uh, one style of play. comes with a pretty thin rule book that complements your kill team rule book. You cannot use this rule book without that uh, core set. And then two boards, so this is one. And then it, you can flip it, to check out the other board. I'll show it to the bigger camera. So this is a one board. Uh, I don't know how to open this up. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy it without even, okay. So that's one board, quite big. Let me try to give you yeah. So that's what the one board looks like and the flip side is uh, also another layout for a board and then there it comes with this this board here and one more board okay. also with a flip side uh, let's check out the board now um, you'll see that it has rivets on the walls and the way you use that is you, if you place a model here it blocks line of sight or at least offers cover, I think, for models that are shooting at that model. Because right now, there are more specific rules for line of sight with Kill Team Arena than there were with just Kill Team. Uh, so there's no, there's supposedly no more ambiguity whether uh, a certain model takes cover or not, or gets a cover bonus or not. And then there's no height anymore. Uh, you really don't need uh, larger buildings. You can't field larger buildings um, for Kill Team Arena. My thoughts on the Kill Team Marina box, it's a pretty good product in terms of components. The cardstock is thick, the sprues are even better than what you're used to with GW and that's saying a lot given that GW makes the best plastics in the industry. The boards are, I don't know, they're lackluster in terms of design. They look too similar to each other except for this one that's orange with like, you know, I don't know, it's a re refinery or something I guess. Um, the rule book is thin, and it should be, given that this is just a supplement to your thick as uh, Kill Team core rules already. Now, price-wise, I don't think I can say for certain that it's worth it. It's $90 a pop right now. And if you're gonna hold the tournament, if that's your intention, then you're gonna need more than one copy. So you, you're probably gonna need one per table, unless you require your players to come and bring their own Kill Team Arena. I'd like to try it out. I think it addresses some of the problems I've had with the original kill team or the core kill team rules. For example, line of sight. You know, it's less ambiguous now. The terrain have specific rules in terms of line of sight and it ha they have clarified what cover is here. Uh, again, the as asymmetry of the terrain um, offers another layer of uh, randomness in, in this in such a random game already so this addresses that you don't get an advantage for choosing a certain side of the table but I don't think it addresses my biggest problems with kill team which is number one the, the injury role I think the injury rule uh, which requires you to roll for uh, on an injury table every time someone takes damage actually just artificially prolongs what's supposed to be a very short game a quick fix to 40k and I think that added layer of randomness I, I don't quite appreciate now 
should you check it out? I, I mean, definitely watch the bat reps online. I've seen some of them, in particular, Guerrilla War Gaming's bat rep. So, uh, that's Ash against the cooler. And I think it was a very interesting bat rep. Um, I will try it out with some of the War Jeepers soon, once I get the chance to assemble and paint the terrain. And I will give you my thoughts then. But for now, I guess, if you have a playgroup, you should get at least one copy. If you don't, then you might want to hold it off until uh, more reviews come in. I hope that review was helpful. Um, this is Manong Guard signing out for War Jeepney. See you across the table.